On August 17, 2009, the world's largest hydroelectric power plant was destroyed. Well, not the dam itself, but the power station was completely devastated. And this catastrophe is considered one of the worst industrial disasters in history. So how did this happen? It all started at 8.13 a.m. local time when there was a catastrophic failure of turbine number two. The massive 920-ton rotor tore apart violently while spinning at 1,500 revolutions per minute. Along with the turbine cover, which was launched skyward, this created a massive opening through which pressurized water from the penstock gushed into the machinery. Haul at a rate of 67,600 gallons per second. The immediate cause of the accident was determined to be turbine vibrations. That led to fatigue damage of the mounting bolts, securing turbine 2 to the foundation. Investigators found that at least 6 nuts were missing from the bolts at the time of the accident, and of 49 recovered bolts. 41 had fatigue cracks. 8 bolts had fatigue damage exceeding 90% of their cross-sectional area. This led to the destruction of the turbine, and the complete failure of the power plant. Out of the 10 turbines, 9 were either damaged or destroyed. Turbines 2, 7 and 9 were completely destroyed. The turbine hall roof collapsed, the machinery hall was flooded, and all transformers were destroyed or damaged. The plant's entire 6,400 megawatt output was lost. The three steel gates, each weighing 150 tons, had to be manually closed using hydraulic jacks to stop the flow of water. It took 25 minutes to stop the water flow. Over 100 metric tons of oil was released into the Yenisei River causing severe environmental damage. 75 fatalities, making it one of the deadliest hydroelectric power plant disasters in history. Many workers were in the turbine hall for maintenance work when the accident occurred. Normally only 12 people staffed the building but over 100 were present that day. The disaster caused widespread blackouts in the region forcing major industrial users such as aluminum smelters to switch to diesel generators. The Siberian Power Network lost 10% of its capacity. Repair work was completed in 2014 at a cost of over $1 billion. The accident was attributed to poor maintenance practices, design flaws, and the pressure to operate turbines in unsafe power bands following a fire at another hydroelectric plant. Although the dam structure itself remained intact, the Seano Shushanskaya accident stands as one of the most devastating hydroelectric power station disasters in modern history, completely destroying what was the 12th largest hydroelectric plant in the world by average power generation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.